Hi Aquarius, Narai here, going to do a reading for you guys. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius, please and thank you. Sign of Aquarius. Oopsie. Okay, there we go. One, two, three cards, please, Spirit. Oh my gosh. First card is the Sun card. How beautiful to start. There we go. It's two. What is the second card? Okay, Spirit said you get three, lady. You're, oh, you're going through an awakening. Oh, you, okay. This is beautiful. So here's what I have. I have you guys are focused on your happiness right now. Some of you may have actually gone through, and if you haven't, you will, go through an awakening awakening. Sorry about that. Huh. Well, this is going to be quick. I feel, like, I feel like you guys are focused on your happiness with the sun. Uh, the things that bring you joy. The things that bring light into your life. Maintaining positivity. Working on your confidence. I feel like you radiate Aquarius joy to a lot of the people in your life sorry about that I have the judgment card this is you guys going through an awakening and then I have the three of cups this could also be a judgment call but I have the three of cups for the three of cups I feel like there's definitely a reason to celebrate you guys might be enjoying the company of friends or very close family your tribe uh, but I feel like there's a reason to celebrate and you are surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. And then with the Emperor card, I feel like you've gone through um, a, a journey and now you're focused on your stability. The Emperor is a person that's in control. They're stable. You're kind of in boss mode when it comes to your life. And see... He's got a chess piece right there. You're doing certain things with strategy. But I feel like you're, you're passionate about something in your life and you really are focused on your stability and your self-control. Some of you may have very strong areas in your chart. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what else comes out. Oh, I have another card. Holy cow. All right. I don't know why I have this too. I have the Page of Pentacles. It could be somebody younger coming into your energy. Somebody that may not be the best of finances. Be on the lookout for that. But I have the three of wands. Oh no, you at one time were not really good with your stability. For some of you, you were not really good with money. And I feel like there's there may have been an opportunity that's come for you. That's put you in a position where you can be more... Oh, wow. Some of you financially ended up finding a really good job or ended up doing something that's bringing a lot of money into your life. 
And I think because instead of just planning with the two of wands, the two of wands is making plans. The two of wands is generally somebody that is, um, is generally somebody that is sitting there and making plans, looking at the world, like wondering, uh, planning to do this, planning to do that, but not actually taking action. So when we have the three of wands, this is a person that not only planned, but took action. And then, let's see. And then I have the three of, excuse me, the three, the, the chariot card. I feel like for some of you, this already happened where you didn't even see an opportunity coming, but you took action and it actually put you in a position to where you're making a lot more money than you've made before. And for others of you, you're not there yet, but it's coming. But you have to be sure that you don't just talk about it, but you actually do something about it and take action. Ooh wee. Well, that is wonderful. Let me pull some cards from here. Why did I pull that? Why did I touch that card like that? Present power. You got to be bold and brave and know that you have the power. You got to tackle things like you're a lion, Aquarius. One more card, please and thank you. This one. And know that you're deserving. Know that you're deserving of all the good. You're deserving of all the good coming to you. And know that don't, I'm going to say, don't say you don't deserve something or you didn't grow up a certain way because a lot of people don't realize that how they grew up and the money their family had or didn't have, or even the environment and the people they surround themselves with, they allow that to affect their future and their abundance and it shouldn't. So know that you're deserving of a better job. You're deserving of a raise. You're deserving of being given an opportunity of a lifetime when it comes to having abundance for yourself and your family or your loved ones, okay? So I'm going to leave you with that. I actually think this is a pretty amazing reading for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, uh, liking, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. I love you guys. Bye.